Here's a good question for you, Hench, that I've been asking, and nobody seems to care about it, so I'm going to ask it to you. The funny wrinkle in college basketball is that the current teams wouldn't be able to beat the best teams of a generation or three ago. Here are four teams that didn't win the national championship that would beat anybody in college basketball right now. The Houston Cougars of 1983, led by Akeem Olajuwon, Clyde Drexler, plenty of size up front, great athletes all over, backcourt will be just fine. UNC 84, now with a ripening Michael Jordan leading the way, James Worthy has moved on, but you still have Brad, the aforementioned Brad Doherty, and you have Kenny Smith coming out as a freshman, now shooting it from the perimeter. This team is solid gold and would whip anybody now. UNLV 91, the team that lost to Duke in the Final Four. Michigan, the Fab Five, the second edition, the sophomore year. I think all four of those teams would win the tournament if you could inject them into it. No doubt. I mean, it's 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 kind of wild given like, you know, the 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 hundred meter dash time goes down. All all sports get better. Not only do I not think that team would lose in, a, in against these college players, I don't think they'd be tested. I don't I don't think anyone would be handling Akeem the dream uh, in college. 96, 97, 98, they were the writing was on the wall for the Bulls. I think like the 96 Bulls might be able to beat the 2022 NBA champs. How say you? Normally I would I would go I would say no way, but I will say I mean obviously Jordan is a is a special player, but I saw this stat, the top 50 NBA players all-time steals. Number 3 is Michael Jordan and number and number 7 is Scottie Pippen. So you've got two of the top 7 all-time in this kind of underrated category like can you take the ball away from the other team without them getting a shot that transfers over generations that particular team even though gosh we're talking you know 25 years i do think uh they beat the the 2023 bucks